This is Professor Darf Seitz. This Java tutorial is part four on applets. It looks at absolute positioning of basic geometric shapes. We have an applet here drawing absolute. It extends J applet and the paint method is where the drawing is done. It receives a graphics object uh, to that method. We have to call super.paintg as the first line because we extend J applet. That's required. We're also going to be making use of the graphics 2D uh, pen thickness to make the thickness of the stroke wider, thicker, and so we're going to get a graphics 2D object here as well. Before we do that, let's look at the API to understand that quickly. The graphics class is abstract. That means it can't be instantiated directly. What's really used is the graphics 2D, which has more functionality than the graphics class and was introduced after the graphics class itself. So it's the, actually the 2D that's available to us, but we'll be focusing mainly on all the functions historically available for this simple geometric drawing of the graphics parent class itself. Switching back to our code now. So we can safely take our graphics and explicitly typecast it to a G2 reference. That way we have a G reference and a G2 so that we can call the stroke functions as well. The first thing we do is G2 get stroke to save the default stroke so that we can restore it when we change it. Now down to the simple uh, geometric drawings. First a line, a slanted line. G, we set the color to black using the color um, static property here. And then we're going to call draw a line in the graphics class. It takes four parameters. Let's look at that API for draw a line. Here's draw a line. The four parameters are the X and Y coordinates of a starting point and X and Y coordinates of an ending point for the line. Going back to our code, we draw a slanted line. Next we draw a horizontal line, which has to have the same Y coordinates for both points. On this horizontal line, we will first use the G2 to set the stroke to a new basic stroke 3. That will change the, the width of the pen. And when we're done drawing this, we're going to restore it, it back by setting the stroke to the default stroke. So that's the only place in this example where we'll change the thickness of the drawing on that horizontal line. Next we draw a vertical line. The X coordinates of the two points will be the same. Draw a rectangle. The draw functions draw the outline of the rectangle. And the rectangle, if we look at its API, here is draw rect for the rectangle. You give the coordinates of a point which represents the upper left corner and then the width and the height of the rectangle. Next we draw a rounded corner rectangle with draw round rect. It has additional parameters to define the, the arc on the corners, the height and width of the arc. Circle, we'll change colors on these. Every time we want a new color we have to set color. There's a draw oval and a circle takes the upper left corner of the bounding box for, for the oval, which in this case we want it to be a, a square. So the width and the height of the oval, if we look at draw oval API quickly, there's the upper left corner and the width and the height, and we want those to be the same to get a circle. Next we draw an actual oval that's not a circle, then an arc. An arc takes some other um, parameters here having to do with the angle, the starting angle and the ending angle for the arc. And then we do a fill oval Fill is different than draw. The draw functions draw the outlines of shapes, whereas the 
fill functions draw the entire area of the shape uh, solid with the color that's currently set. So we're going to fill an oval. Then we're going to fill a polygon. And we're going to set up a triangle through a polygon. To do this, we're going to get the color that we're going to use using a custom color, not one of the colors available by default in the color class, and set the color to that. Then we set up a polygon object and add points to it. We're adding three points. It's going to define a triangle. And then we fill that polygon, G fill polygon, to draw the entire polygon. Next we fill a rectangle. That's a solid rectangle. Fill a circle. And note the comment here, it says, this eclipses the prior filled rectangle because it is drawn after the rectangle. There will be some overlap here, and things that are drawn after will be on top of things that are drawn before them. So we'll see this filled circle will overlap this filled rectangle. The circle will be orange, the rectangle gray. Next we draw an image. We have an image object that uh, called sailboat and we'll call the get image function passing get code base and the the name of the file where the image is sailboat.jpg the get code base is the current directory where this applet's running then we'll do the draw image function here and finally we need some text so we're going to set the color to be blue and draw a string puts out text and the position here is for the first character of the text let's now go ahead and run this applet it's already been compiled we'll go ahead and run it I'm in TextPad. I'm going to hit Control-3 to run it. First it asks for the HTML file to use, which specifies the, applets, the applet tag, which has the width and the height of the window for the applet. I have an HTML file set up. We'll go ahead and use that one. And then the applet is displayed you know, in the applet viewer. Let me go ahead and enlarge the window here. Here we see the applet in the applet viewer. That's the JDK uh, program that displays just the applet, not the HTML that uh, surrounds it. Also there's a console window in the background here. So there's our applet. It has a status line at the bottom that's part of the applet viewer. It says applet started. This word here, applet, is also put there by the applet viewer and here's our applet notice that we have the slanted line here the horizontal line which is thicker because we use that graphics 2D uh, stroke cap capability to make the outline of the shape thicker and then we restored the shape back to shapes back to their normal drawing after that to their normal thickness we have a vertical line here is an oval, the circle, another oval, a rounded corner rectangle. Here's the arc right there. And, it, and it's just, it's not a fill arc. You, there's also a fill arc. This is just the draw arc. There's a square. Here we have the orange circle that's on top overlapping the gray rectangle. And here's the image file of the sailboat being shown in our applet. Now what's, oh, lastly don't forget the text here, it says this applet uses absolute positioning. All of the coordinates of every geometric item that we've drawn, we specified the coordinates absolutely uh, relative to the upper left zero zero here. So we had to figure out exactly where these needed to be in the 
Next tutorial in this series we'll look at relative positioning which has some advantages for maintaining your your visual um, placement of things it makes it easier but as we see here there's quite a bit of uh, variety that you can do with the colors the thicknesses the kinds of shapes uh, quite a bit so let's go back to our code now going back to the top uh, notice that I've grouped the import statements into two groups this is top group is the group that just doing the basic graphics drawing and this bottom group is for the graphics 2D in there we used a stroke and a basic stroke and the graphics 2D itself so if you want to get into the graphics 2D you'll need to provide these import statements and do this particular cast here to get a graphics 2D object we're not going to go into all the details of graphics 2D because this is just a basic uh, getting started applet tutorial don't forget you have to call super paint here because it does extend J applet then there is a difference between drawing and filling drawing does the outlines filling does the entire shape area and as you want to change the color you need to do so if you want to change the stroke you have to remember to restore it otherwise it'll stay that same stroke so we've seen here the various basic geometric shapes that can be drawn and even text and images and to finish up we'll show the applet one more time so here's the the applet with a variety of different shapes text graphics that all are using at this point absolute positioning